So if I had $100 million, <laughs> uh, and I'm actually trying to get this, uh, I would create the Rhodes Scholarships for Refugees. Couldn't call it that, but if you think about the world in which IIE works, uh, uh, there is one group of very talented people that have a real difficulty getting graduate fellowships to go to graduate institutions to, to do the things that Rhodes Scholars do. Sometimes they can't leave where they are. Sometimes if they leave and go to Oxford, uh, they can't get back from Oxford because their status where they were changes. Uh, and sometimes the problem is with us. We were on our campuses grooming people for the roads, the marshals, all, all of the prestigious scholarships, and, and we tend not to look for refugees. Uh, and there's no program for refugee roads. There's no program that says, we, we want you to get one of these prestigious things because we're grooming everybody for the prestigious things that have all the other things that 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 go with that. So let's create a Roads for Refugees. Probably would take $100 million. Uh, the only change would be that you don't have to go to Oxford. Uh, you don't have to leave where you are. You, you could go to university graduate education in the country where you're at, so you don't have to worry about a visa changing status. And, and we'd pick them good. And we all know that refugees <laughs> are, are the best students we have on campus. They excel, they win gold medals, they, uh, I think you'd get Nobel Prizes out of this, uh, but that's not the point. What you'd get are community leaders, people lifting up the next generation, as George uh, spoke about this morning. Um, and in our world, it is the one thing that we know we don't have. 